welcome to the warm-up as we continue our look at uh, the Crestview Knights. I'm Mark Koontz. Matt Fink will be with us momentarily. I want to thank Frickers for not only hosting us but sponsoring the uh, Crestview warm-up as Jared Owens, head coach of the Crestview Knights, joins us. And coach, coming off of back-to-back -back playoff appearances, Crestview Knights have had a, a nice little run, but it's a little bit of a new crowd taking over the Knights, pro, the Knights team this year. Yeah, absolutely. Had a lot of graduating uh, starters, and uh, uh, they've kind of made their mark on their program the last couple of years. The last couple of senior classes have been really, really strong and, and good leaders, and uh, uh, a lot of places to replace that, but uh, a lot of able people to replace them with, I think. You guys have been going at it for over a week now. You're in the pads. You're starting to, to see the kids hit each other. You haven't had a scrimmage yet. That one's coming up later on this week, but have you seen some good stuff in practice so far? Oh, yeah, we've got a, a lot of people that are competing, which is the main thing. Um, it's probably been uh, the first camp where we've had seven or eight positions on each side of the ball, maybe even more that we're not really sure who's going to end up filling those come uh, first Friday night against Parkway. So um, from that standpoint, the competition's been really good. Um, sometimes it's ugly in practice because it is so competitive, but um, I think that's a good thing, and, and we're excited to see what we look like against somebody else Friday night. Have you seen some kids uh, come up the last week or so that maybe surprised you at, at this point? Yeah, I think, I think that um, our younger kids have closed the gap a lot quicker than maybe I, I expected them to, just being younger kids. And, and uh, we've had a lot of the older guys take that next step to the next level too. We have uh, four seniors this year that are playing football for their first time. So uh, you just don't know what to expect when they're getting into it that late in the game. And, and all of them have been good leaders and and a pleasant surprise from the play playmaking standpoint as well. When you talk about playmakers, Preston Zaleski was the NWC back of the year last year, quarterback, defensive back. He has graduated. Big shoes for somebody to fill in at quarterback for you this year. Yeah, you know, Preston had the knack. If if things broke down, he could still make a play for you. And and uh, I think that we have playmakers. Maybe we'll be more balanced, uh, you know, across the board because we won't have that one guy that we want to rely on quite as much. But um, – yeah, it's definitely going to be a, a competition at the quarterback position, and we've got three guys right now uh, kind of duking it out for that. And uh, nobody's really put a lot of separation between themselves yet, so that's another area Friday that we'll look to evaluate and uh, you know see if, if anybody can kind of take hold of that job. Friday scrimmaging uh, Salina, scrimmage with Van Ward coming up a week after that. Jordan Miller last year as a junior really came on strong as your running back, and he, he's obviously back this year. Yeah, Jordan's played a ton of football for us. Uh, he started some games as a freshman. Uh, you know, I don't know if we keep the record, but he may have started as many football games as anybody ever put a Crestview football jersey on. So um, he's been a really good player for us, and, and we're glad to have him back for another year. And uh, he does a lot of things for us from a leadership standpoint, too. He just was elected captain and, and uh, defensively as well, uh, just as good a defensive player as offensive. You look at the lines, I think you lost maybe some good seniors off the line last year. A couple of young kids, though, who got some playing time last year back on that line. It's a little bit of a mix of experience and youth on that line this year. Yeah, we've got a couple of, of guys returning that have a, a lot of game experience, and then we're going to fill the, the other spots with guys that have none. Uh, so um, I think the continuity factor there, how quick we can gel together and, and kind of know our responsibilities and work as a unit will be a key factor early on in the season. What do you think the strength of this year's Knights team going to be? So far, it's been just our, our, our ability to play as a team and practice as a team and, and the camaraderie part of it um, and guys that just get after it. We, we talk as a coaching staff all the time. This has been one of the most fun groups to be around just because they work hard, they listen, they try to do what their coach to do. Um, so from that standpoint, you know, we're not sure how things are going to play out here because we just haven't played anybody else yet. So we're excited. We're chomping at the bit to get to Friday and, and hit somebody with a different color jersey. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, the players are, are eager to get that first scrimmage, but the coaches are too for, for a lot of reasons, part of which, as you've kind of touched on, is to start to really evaluate where you are and what you need to do before that opener against Parkway. Yeah, absolutely. See where we're at, you know, personnel-wise and, and what else we need to scheme-wise do, make adjustments there as well to try to, to, try to fit our personnel. Open up on the road against Parkway down in Rockford, home for Hicksville, and then at Wayne Trace. Three non-conference games that I think will probably do a good job of getting you ready for the NWC. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, with those type, three type of quality opponents, I don't think we can even look at the NWC um, and not do those games justice. We, you know, we're, we're focused on Parkway. That's that's where we've got you know all our attention to right now, and 
And Parkway is going to be a good football team. They've got some athletic kids that got, have size, uh, quarterback with really good size, and uh, some linemen that can run a little bit as well. So uh, going to be a good challenge for us in game week one. I, I know you're focused on the Panthers, but at the same time, the NWC, four teams, half the league made the postseason last year, yourselves included. Columbus Grove, Spencerville, Jefferson also made the postseason. This year, do you think the league's going to be even more competitive top to bottom? As competitive, yeah, if not more, absolutely. I think that, um, you know, the, the the league champs, Delphus, have got to be the team to beat again this year. They return a lot and uh, uh, just as such a well-coached, disciplined team. And, you know, Spencerville is right there knocking on the door last year with them in, in a great game over there to decide the conference. I think they'll be uh, as good or better as last year. And then, you know, um, you know the rest of the league all the way t through the bottom, you know, uh, top to bottom I think is going to be really competitive and, and where we fall in there I think will depend on you know how many close games we can win. You mentioned a lot of new kids playing new roles. Coaching staff though looks like it's pretty solid from the years past that when you have so many new kids coming in and finding new roles for new kids how important is it to have that stability on your staff? It's huge and it starts down with our youth program that we've had continuity all the way you know from our third graders all the way through our middle school and and up through the high school. So we're getting freshmen that have learned our stuff already. They have a clue. Um, so we don't have to go back and reteach a lot of things. They, they can hit the ground running. Happy with the, the number of kids you've got out for the team? Yeah, we've, we've have a smaller senior class. Uh, our enrollment's a little bit down. I, I believe I'm not sure when the new enrollment numbers will come out. We were in the Division Seven category last time uh, that we heard. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with, with what we have. We have 38 football players, and I tell them all the time they're 38 toughest kids in the school, and they can be proud of that, and I'm proud of them for it. You know, we were kind of talking about this before the show started, where Crestview, the school year kind of went longer, and this upcoming school year starting a little bit sooner, so it's almost as if it's been a compressed summer for the Crestview, the entire community for Crestview. Yeah, a little bit. You know, it's kind of a good thing at the end of the school year. Um, we had those kids in school, so it, it was easier to get that transition into the weight room. Um, but, yeah, it has been a compressed year. The summer's flown by. But at the same time, I think the routine as we get into week one, being in school and developing that routine uh, will be a welcome thing too. How'd the summer go? Did you have to change anything up from years past with your conditioning programs and seven-on-sevens? No, I, we kept it pretty consistent, um, working on a lot of movement, working on a lot of strength. Uh, main thing in the summertime is we're trying to build strength to, to prevent injury and, and to be able to compete. All right, thank you very much, Jared Owens, head coach of the Crestview Knights. We need to take a break here on the warm-up presented by Frickers. When we return, Matt Finkel will talk with some of the Crestview players here on WOSN. To my right, linebacker, offensive lineman. In the middle, Sage Schaffner, defensive back, running back. He's a senior. And on the end, it's Jordan Miller, linebacker, running back, also a senior. Braddon, let's start with you. Last season, lost to Spencerville in the playoffs, week 11. Played them a couple times in a short period. Did that leave a bitter taste in your mouth? Uh, yeah, and we're looking forward to that game, even though we're not as looking forward to it as we are for Parkway. We're still really pumped to get back at them. Yeah, that'll be a big league game and you can see it on WOSN. Sage, how's camp going? Seems seems like you guys have made good progress in the short time you've had together. Uh, yeah, we're doing really well. Um, communication has gotten a lot better since we've been together and uh, we're just coming together a lot better than since we have been. Jordan, you had a great season last year. What have you been doing in the off season to repeat it and go out as a senior with your best effort? Uh, I've been lifting and building camaraderie with the my new teammates. Brad, and you guys have a scrimmage coming up later this week. What are you looking to get out of that scrimmage? Uh, see which younger guys step up into some of the roles that we need filled that the seniors from last year had that they left for us. So we'll be looking forward to that and which ones can step up and be a leader too. Right, Sage, let's talk about last year's seniors. It was a, a big group and they very good, and I'm sure you learned a lot from them. What do you take away from them going into your senior year? Um, well, the senior class last year was probably, like, one of the best classes that we've had go through Crestview in a long time. And Well, mainly they just taught me that 
um, it's really good to stay together and that you know you can't do it by yourself. Jordan, what's an area you'd like to see the Knights improve upon between now and when you take the field against Parkway? Special teams is always a big one for Crestview. Um, Special teams, that's the area. That's yeah. fine, yeah. That's, yeah you'll have, you should have plenty of time to work it out. Overall communication. Yeah. Brian, what do you think this team's biggest strength is right now? Um, probably all the people that we have, like the backups, the gap there is pretty small. So our ones and twos, we can rotate them in and out pretty easily. So we have more than one person that can play each position. Well, depth is certainly an important part of any football team, especially when you play in the NWC. Best of luck to you guys this season. We need to take a break here on the warm-up from Frickers. When we come back, more nights will join me to talk football. Welcome back to the warm-up brought to you by Frickers. I'm joined by three Crestview Knight juniors. It is Braden Van Cleef to my right, tight end, defensive lineman, Dylan Grandstaff in the middle, quarterback, defensive back, and on the end, it's Alec Ingram, offensive line, defensive line. Braden, let's start with you. I see you guys are all wearing these shirts that say, earn it. Is that the team motto this year? Yeah, we really got to prove to people that we're here and we're going to make a statement this year. Yeah, where'd that come from specifically? Is it something Coach brought up or the players? Uh, I think Coach Owens did. Coach Owens did. Yes. How have you seen the guys earn it in camp so far already? Is that mantra already proving to be true? Yeah, everybody's working hard and doing what they have to do. What's an area that you'd like to see Crestview improve upon between now and maybe use those scrimmages before you get to week one? I think uh, special teams would help a lot. Um, our defense started to come together. Uh, communication helped a lot. And a lot of people stepped up on lot, like offense line. And... That's pretty much it. Braden, the NWC is very competitive every year, and this year we're expecting it to be the same. Where do you guys see yourself fitting into the league? Uh, we just got to really take it game by game and see how things play out. Dylan, for you, you'll be quarterback this year. Graduated Preston Zaleski last year. What did you learn from him at the quarterback position? Uh, just do everything right. Don't mess up. <laughs> yeah, he made a lot of good plays. He did. And... What is Crestview's biggest strength this season? I think uh, defense because we uh, we started communicating a lot more. And, uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. We started talking. It works out. It works out in the end. Yeah, well, Braden, you guys got off to a pretty good start last year, starting 6-0. and So it's very important to get that win week one. What are you doing in practice to prepare for Parkway and make sure that you get the season started on the right foot? We're just trying to do all the little things, making sure we're all on the same page with everything. Dylan, as a junior, they mentioned it's a smaller senior class. Are some of the juniors taking on leadership roles as well? Yeah. Uh, Brad and Breck is taking on a huge leadership role, and everybody else is just following him and getting behind him. What are some of the ways in camp that you as the juniors have needed to step up and, and lead the group? Well, we started teaching like little kids what the, not little kids, but like ninth graders and right. stuff, like freshmen, uh, to like good technique and stuff. And we started like going after practice and showing them what's good. Did, uh, did the, for the ex I love to show them what's good too. Did the experience <laughs> in the postseason last year, I asked the other guys, leave you, your postseason was cut short last year, right? Week 11, did that leave you hungry for this year? Yeah, like it's, it's like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like something inside of me like just wants to come out. Like You're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Well, you guys will get that chance in your first yeah. scrimmage, and we wish you the best of luck week one against Parkway and throughout the rest of the season. Thank you. That's going to do Thank it you. for this edition of the warm-up from Frickers. Good luck to the Crestview Knights this season. Thank you to all of our guests. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSN. <laughs>